So we've talked about a couple of things here, manifestation, belief, and the small space, but what type of conversations do you hope the audience has after mm. walking away from watching this film? Oh man, you know, I, I would love two people who are really close and, and trust each other and know each other. They walk out and they're feeling a little warm and they're feeling a little giggly and they're feeling like maybe a couple of small blind spots were pointed out in them and how they look at humans, some of their limited purview of humanity, but they're feeling like they didn't get called out by the movie. They didn't get body slammed. They didn't, yeah. they didn't try to get canceled on Twitter from it. They were gently held and walked towards some level of, of growth. And they were able to do it inside of the warm giggle. That's yeah. that's the dream for me. That's good. That's good. I mean, in, in concert with that, just being able to love people a little more fully and accepting people as they are um, without having to have any sort of ca caveat for how you love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll pray for you. You don't have to pray for me or say anything <laughs> else. You can just be here with me as I am. And we good, mm -hmm. we Gucci. That's what I hope. So I want to ask about Billy and Ray. We often, when we talk to actors or we talk about creating characters, we want to know what is most similar to you in your life. But I want to know from both of you, what was it um, within each characterization that you had a harder time maybe finding or something that was so far away from you that you were um, had to learn to connect with through the character? Hey. I, I got mine. I can say right away. You are great, great. Um, <clears throat> because I decided personally to be an independent filmmaker and come into an industry that I didn't feel like had any interest in having me there. And it was such an uphill battle. It beat every sense of entitlement out of me completely. So I have zero entitlement left in me. Um, <laughs> Billy is completely entitled and has failed upwards his entire life by doing nothing. And he expects those around him who are smarter than him, more capable than him to raise him up. And when he doesn't get it, he pouts like a petulant little boy. Um, and that for me, I think when I'm at my worst, I've certainly had those moments, but for me to deeply connect into that, honor that, see the humanity in that, put that up, you know, was a little bit of a challenge to find my way into. Yeah, that's interesting. Like I, I would say, and, and my friends would call me on this, like, I don't think I lead with my intellect. I feel like I lead with my spirit and sort of like playing someone who is so heady is probably not, I mean, it's not super far away from me. I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I don't know. No, but you're always heart connected. You're, you're, you use your head, but yeah. you're always heart connected. Yeah, I'm a very heart connected person. Yeah. So just trying to come from a place of like, of um, leading with the brain was probably mm -hmm. a little bit different. Yeah, I, I never thought about that, but it's like Ray probably had to disconnect from his heart with a lot of the communication yeah. in order to keep things going with Billy. Yeah. Because there'd be too much pain yeah. and hurt Agreed. in there. So, Agreed. yeah.